the real one. Yeah. We have a Mad Docs exhaust pipe expander kit. MD7-1, and we're gonna try it on a 2500 quart. Yeah. Maxi, inside the house! Maxi! I don't die. Tell Nana to come here. Yeah, so. Nana! I, you know, I, I bought this, right? Because I, I looked on uh, uh, YouTube. Yeah. And they're saying. You hook this up to a, a draw punch, which yeah. I have, and it'll you do hydraulic pressure to pull it, but the threading's different. The 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 draw, I punch I have is metric, and this is looks like ASC. Oh. It was made in China. Some guy had it working. He must have had different model or something. But so we just have to resort to um, impact. It works. Just make sure it's mounted in there, in the or you if you have a vice to hold on to the pipe. I just uh, I don't have a vice, so I just left on the car mocked up, and I just bolted the front with the three three uh the three bolts. Yeah. And then I used an impact boost. There's no way you're gonna be able to hold it by hand or anything. Got it. it has to be clamped somehow. It's always just gonna spin in your hand. See, it just goes like that. And grease, grease it up. So did yeah. you actually have to add in the adapter? Or you just took it out just like that. No, just like this because that, it would be too big. Oh, this one, hardened steel, and you just got. Da, 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 da. So would you go all the way flush or how far? It do doesn't you go? matter. You just need the slip joint. Okay, you could go all the way in. You could do that if you want to. You could do that right, and then do a little bit, and then turn. As it, it like grease. shoot in. Yeah. And it'll get bigger. Yeah, it'll expand it right because it's drawing it right. It's driving well, the, the bolt in, squeezing it, so it squeezes this way. Like so, a rivet? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you'll do it, right? Oh. Squeeze, expands. So this thing mm -hmm. is smaller than the one in the car? Yeah. The one on the car is two inches. This one's only like an inch and a half or something. So we want to get this closer to two inch? Yeah. Oh. Don't measure by this, measure by the fit. Okay, because it, it might be a little bit off. Can't remember if it's inside two inch diameter. So as right. long as this gets close to the other side, then I can weld it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the closer the better. Yeah, and then tack and then since you get Eddie to weld this. <laughs> Am I dropping the whole thing on the ground again? Taking the whole exhaust yeah. to the ground? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you got get you get the better articulation, then you get better seal, right? Oh. Yeah. And yeah, you, you want me to sure. clean what of this? You have to clean it inside because you can't have contaminants in there. This is galvanized, coated steel or aluminized. I have no idea, one or the other. You want me to clean the surface in here? Mm -hmm. Clean that, clean the outside. So, so I can weld? Mm -hmm. Who knows if, how, how much of it it's going to weld through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And especially the old one because it has carbon in there. And there's no bond if you get a whole bunch of carbon. Got it. Right. I mean, it probably will. It's just an exhaust and not structural. So you're good. Okay. Just makes things go a lot easier. Yeah. And yeah, and then when you do that, right, do this, 29 degrees, do that. So make it round. Roundish. Because oh. if you keep doing that, it's gonna expand, right? The, wait, wait, there. wait. This thing's a square? Well, it expands. You have gaps, right? The gaps, it's, there's no pressure, nothing pushing where the gaps are. Right? Oh. They're, they're located, hey, hey. So account for that, it'll be round. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's simple. So do it multiple angles. Yeah, a little bit at a time. But, but it does expand to be a perfect circle, though. Yeah, but these flats aren't circles, right? You see that? This is flat, right? Yeah, yeah. There are areas that are It's aren't. only here, so you got to account for that. Do it some, do it some, do it some. It's going to take a little bit. Oh, I like when you got two tool. people, it, it works a lot better. When you're by yourself, it's a little harder to jack sand. <laughs> oh. And you got two people that do working on it. It works it goes a lot smoother and faster, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it saved a lot of time. Whoa. How much does that kit cost? Huh? Uh, 100 something? It's from Harbor Freight. 100 something for that kit? Yeah. Like, uh, how much my time worth? I mean, go, I remember last time we did an uh, adapter and an adapter. Cut it, slice it, and it's clamp it. You still have gas in this. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's true. Let's work a little smarter. Yeah, it's not necessary for automotive. I mean, it says exhaust, but it looks expensive. 
copper fiber or wood fiber. Wait, you're saying yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, got it. Yeah, the grease you choose, probably, you know, whatever. I guess when the grease heats up, you're going to see the smoke. <laughs> well, you turn the exhaust. All right, I realized that. Where's your smoke coming from? Oh, you want me to grease this and grease that? Yeah, just grease this. I guess this grease will go there. I guess it's a lot of pressure. You're playing like... But after I grease pressure. it, then I have to clean the grease because now I have the weld. Yeah. Yeah, just to wipe it down. But there's still going to be residual. And besides, the weld will probably just heat up the grease enough to get rid in the welded area. Okay. Yeah. Just my experience from, from doing it that one time. You but need to recycle any metal in the next few weeks? Mm, probably. I got metal that I'm not using for any projects. Just some flat stuff, yeah. Oh, you got your friends going to come back, come up here and start picking stuff up? No, I'm going to use my pickup stuff? truck and get stuff and put it into my... I borrowed the tilt, uh, a tilt dump, trailer. Uh -huh, dump trailer. Oh, a tilt trailer. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to uh, drive it to the recycle place and I'm going to suck it out. Oh, wow. So if you have some metal you want to just get rid okay. of, yeah, you, cool. okay. that way... I'm afraid. Save some space somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 